the beautiful city of Singapore, the fifth stop on the OSM BWF World Super Series, and this is where it's all taking place. The Singapore Indoor Stadium, a magnificent building it is too. Next month, of course, it will be hosting the World Netball Championships, but this week, it's all about badminton. It's quarterfinals day here at the Li Ning Singapore Open. And as I say, fifth tournament on the BWF world super series 12 tournaments in all and as you can see we've already had four of them of course the korean open made history the first ever million dollar tournament and the first ever premier super series events of those 12 tournaments five have been promoted to premier status so it's very exciting times for badminton well, as for today's quarterfinals, we're starting with mixed doubles, then men's singles, women's singles, women's doubles. And, of course, men's doubles will be the last of those five quarterfinals. Well, the first of the matches, the mixed doubles, it's the English pair against the Thailand number two seeds. There's confirmation of that. Nathan Robertson and Jenny Warwick up against Sukit Prakamol and Sara Lee Thung Tongkong, the number two seeds. Of course, the Thailand pair have had some very good results already this year. Beaten finalists at the All England Championships, number two in the world at the moment. And of course, they know what it's like to be in the final of this particular event because they've reached the final of the Singapore Open twice previously back in 2005 and 2007. Well, slightly pensive looking Jenny Woolwick. This is new territory for her because she and Nathan Robertson played the Singapore Open last year. They lost in the very first round despite the fact that they were the number eight seeds. So considerably better than a year ago. So they will be led out onto court by Chalit Magad of Indonesia, the umpire for this first of our quarterfinals. As I say, five matches, and we really have got a great lineup for you this afternoon because following this mixed doubles, we have two youngsters in the world of badminton in the men's singles, a former world junior champion, Wang Zhengming, against the current world junior champion, Victor Axelson, who's battled his way through the qualifying event here. And he's through to the quarterfinal. What a magnificent match yesterday when he beat the former champion, Bao Chun Lai. So uh, plenty to look forward to. And of course, uh, this first match, the mixed doubles. Well, this should be a tight encounter. They've only played each other once previously. And I can tell you, it went the full distance. But let's have a proper look at Nathan Robertson, first of all. 34 years of age, born in Nottingham in England and of course he is a former world champion with his previous partner Gail Ems and of course probably best known in badminton terms for his Olympic silver medal again with Gail Ems but since the retirement of Ems following the Beijing Olympics he's been teaming up with Jenny Warwick who's 24 years of age born in Bolton but now living in Nottingham, training at the National Training Centre in Milton Keynes, these two English players. And as you can see, world ranking of 15, 13 individual tournaments to go with that world ranking. And their win-loss record for the year equates to reaching just one final so far this year. That was the Grand Prix Gold event in Switzerland. Lost in the final there to Joachim Fischer Nielsen and Christina Peterson. So Sukip Prakamol, also a very experienced man, 31 years of age from Chon Bori in Thailand. Number two in the world rankings here in Sara Lee Thong Tonka. And she's just turned 32. In fact, her birth date celebrated at the beginning of this week, last Monday. And what a birthday present it would be if she could get through right the way through this tournament they've certainly got the talent there's no question of that number two seeds number two in the world two finals already this year i was mentioning just a moment ago about their all england 
final when they lost out to Zhu Chen, a margin of China. But the pair from Thailand also reached the final of the 2010 Super Series finals. And no, I haven't gone completely mad because the 2010 Super Series finals took place in January this year. So this is the man in charge, Cholib Magad of Indonesia. Very experienced umpire he is to got umpires and service judges from all around the world. Richard Ting, he's the service judge. Now, as I was saying, these two pairs played each other once previously. That was in the quarterfinal of the French Open last year. And the Thailand pair won on that occasion. And in fact, they went on to take the title, the very first and only Super Series title. Of course, for the Thailand pair, twice bronze medalists at World Championships. This is the youngest player on court. Jenny Warwick. Now, I can tell you that both of these pairings through to this quarterfinal stage without dropping a game. English combination beating the Germans in their first round match, Schuttler and Maranello. And then yesterday against Fran Kuniawan and Pia Zebedee Bernadette. Again, two straight games. So for the Thailand pair, well, their first two matches have been against two British pairings. First of all, first round against Chris Adcock and Imogen Bankia. And then against Robert Blair and Gabby White. So for the Thailand combination, this is their eighth appearance here in Singapore. It's obviously a tournament they enjoy playing. Big supporters of this particular event. And only three seeded pairs left at this quarterfinal stage in the mixed doubles. And it's the Thailand pairs, the only seeded pair left in the bottom half of the draw. I can remember watching Sukhet Prakamol and Sara Lee Tonkan for many years. This is their ninth year on tour together. Five career titles over that time. And I guess the result that really set them on their way to stardom was winning the Japan Open in 2005. Showed huge promise. But in all honesty, I wonder if they've really fulfilled the potential that I certainly believe they had, of course, those two medals at World Championships, two bronze medals in 2005 and 2006, Anaheim and Madrid, had their chances in that too. And of course, it was in Madrid that this man won the gold medal with Gail Ems. Beat English teammates Anthony Clark and Donna Kellogg in that World Championship final. Oh, the English pair. Silver medalists at the European Championships. Sorry, that was the Commonwealth Games. They were silver medalists. They were bronze medalists at the European Championships last year. Still waiting for their first ever title together. English pairing. She used to be a very fine women's doubles player as well. And now concentrating solely on the mixed doubles. So it looks like it's the Thailand pair who will be nearest to us. As we look down on the court. Sporting a very new short haircut, Suket Prakamo. Army Sergeant. In fact, Sara Lee 
Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Sarali Tung Tong Kam and Suket Pratamo, Thailand. And on my left, Genji Wok Wok and Nathan Robertson, England. Nathan well, Robertson, Thailand. just making the announcements to the crowd. So it's the English combination, unseeded Nathan Robertson and Jenny Woolworth. There they are, far side of the court as we look down. Up against the number two seed, Sukhep Prakamol and Sara Lee from Tonkan. Take this over. One love. Two love. He's a very ambitious player, Sukit Prakamol. Always expect the unexpected. It's an absolute delight to watch because he does try some outrageous shots at times. so well did Nathan Robertson crouching in on the net oh. a flick serve from Woolworth read very Three, easily two. by Sukit Placement of the smash from Nathan Robertson. Service over. Three all. Oh, oh, that's a little wild. Service over. Four. Oh, that's incredible. Not only the technical ability to whip that shuttle across court, but also the vision to see that's where the gap was. Robertson left absolutely stranded. No, he wasn't left stranded on that occasion. My goodness, he was quick back to that flick serve. third shot I know I say it every time but it's so important in doubles good low serve got to get your racket up ready to intercept oh, that's just wide this time service over five six yeah, well, just seems to be trying to warm himself up still She's a powerful player, is Six Jenny Woolworth. Not their favoured formation, it has to be said, with her smashing from the back of the court. But Nathan Robertson, very, very efficient from the front, putting the shuttle away well. So back level. Six all. And now into the lead. 
run of three straight points. Of course, Nathan Robertson has won a Singapore Open title before. It was men's doubles in 2009 with Anthony Clark. And that's a good smash. Aim towards the right hip of Sara Lee Song Tonkan. It's a run of five straight points. Good little spell from the English combination. Oh, it's great defense. Goodness me. The first one was more impressive than the second. Off her right hip and then driving with the forehand action for the outright winner. Well, what an extraordinary run of points. Seven of them to be precise from four six down to 11 six at the mid game interval. And just five minutes of play. Knut Jonasson, former world number two men's singles player from Denmark, now coaching in English. Well, he always looks almost disinterested, doesn't he? Suit get back a ball. I can assure you he's not. It's just his persona, it's just the way he comes across. He's a delightful character. Always very friendly. England coaching bench. 11 6. Play. Well, every Seven, time 11. that they're out of formation, English combination do little, look a little more vulnerable to me. Far better when Nathan's at the back of the court, controlling the rallies. Very, very clever play from Sara Lee Thong Thong Camp. Yeah, and the line. Out just to wipe the perspiration from the court surface. Take it over, eight, twelve. Humid conditions here in Singapore. Okay, the air conditioning is on here at the Singapore Indoor Arena Stadium. Oh, oh. Uh, so much mixed doubles is about working the rally until the woman at the front of the court can finish it off, get the lift hitting the right place so that she can intercept. Over. Thirteen nine. That's very well. 
played by the Thailand pair, especially Sara Lee. She played a backhand cross court in that rally. Here it is. That changed the momentum of the rally. Super play. Suket so trying the same work. tactic, trying to play across court, but not making it. Hey, yeah, down the centre. 15 10. Both the Thailand players leaving it for the other. It's a good standard tactic, anyway because should the shuttle come back it narrows the angle of reply and therefore there's a good chance that the net player will be able to intercept oh. Oh, yes good rally good thinking Service good change over. of pace 15. for Sara Lee to control. Five point advantage restored. And short. Both. Service over. 12 of 60. She was alert to it, was Jenny Woolworth. Service over. 17-12. Tried the little half-court push. Did Suke. Didn't give enough pace on the shuttle. Couldn't get it past the outstretched arm of Woolworth. Mm, they'll be pretty happy with their player's performance so far. glimpses 17. at the moment of the brilliance of the Thailand pair. And that was the one that did the damage. Oh, that's a loose serve. Got what it deserved. 18, 13. Got to try and make that low serve just skim over the net. Your opponents can't attack the shuttle. That's what they're all aiming to do. It's slightly loose, and of course your opponent can pounce on it. That's a good serve. Oh. Oh, what an angle. That is absolutely incredible. Most players would have played straight down the line. But look at this. Goes up. Cross court. Not right winner. Two points now from the open game. Oh. Now just the one. 20 game point. The unseeded 30. combination. Looking very, very sharp at the moment. 
seven game point opportunities. Well, that's one squandered. Yeah, just seemed to lose his concentration there. Nathan Robertson doesn't miss many of those, I can assure you. Once again, the English pair out of their favoured formation. Good tactical play by the number two seeds. This time, they convert. Third time of asking. First game won by Nathan Robertson, Danny Oldwell, 21-15. 21-15 calls the umpire. 15 minutes to play. And of course the players change ends. Well, it was a good uh, opening game moments of brilliance from both pairings but I have to say I thought the English combination in general just looked a little bit sharper than the number two seeds from Thailand and all the players there have been telling me about the drift in this arena well, that may make a difference this was a super rally Plenty of badminton fans in this one, Singapore seconds. indoor stadium. It is a magnificent arena. Opened on the 31st of December 1989. And I can remember playing in this very arena when I was competing at the Singapore Open. So the Thailand coach will never give some a lot away. Play. England coaches, well, they'll be pretty happy. They've obviously taught tactics. Certainly worked well in the opening game. One lock. So much of doubles is about the attacking play. of serve uh, absolute perfection the return of serve from Sukip pra Prakamol hit more. the top of the tape just trickled over So sharp. What was that I was saying in the opening game about the serve, return, and third shot? Absolutely vital. Yeah, Jenny Woolworth taking the return off the top of the tape, playing the winner. 
Yeah, but that's a more positive return Take from Suke. Good use in the mid-court area. Just get it past the net player. Making the shuttle land in front of the rear court player. Look how he has to move forward. Yeah. Pulled out of position late onto it. Okay, thank you. Well, it's all one-way traffic at the moment. Ever since they were 4-6 down in the opening game, the English combination have just gone up a gear, looking to attack and hit the shuttle in a downward direction as much as they possibly can. Oh, my goodness, it's paying dividends. <laughs> well, the umpire's called it in. I have to say I'm surprised by that. see from that angle but even Nathan Robertson raised his racket in apology for the call obviously realized it's was short of that front service line the umpire calling it good five straight points found the line Nine, two. the English combination are not really being challenged with their attacking play not enough attempts by this pairing the number two seeds to try and turn that defensive play into attacking play this fairly desperate situation from their perspective. Just wide. Take it over. Four, nine. the shuttle much earlier on that occasion Suki oh. yeah, this is a good little run of points Six, from the nine. number two seeds see it at the moment there we can just retying the shoelace often seems to do this when her opponents are on a little run of points
Oh, it's certainly the right idea from Sue King, just trying to turn the shuttle. Gently trying to steer it into the open space. urgency in the style of play now from Sukit Pra Prakamal. Defence is wide and therefore the English pair go to the mid-game interval with a four-point advantage. Had a five point advantage in the opening game, which they went on to convert. As you can see, 21 15. Yeah, I'm not convinced about the flick serving to Nathan Robertson because he loves to be hitting down. I guess it's a good tactic to mix up the serves because he's also very, very good at pouncing on the, the low serve. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Well, as I say, it's time for the Thailand pair, all number twos, to get themselves really back on level terms. Because unless they Eleven react fairly seven. soon, it's going to be too late. Play. Can't afford errors on the return of serve when you're a game. 13-7 down. Get more attacking play from the English combination. Four years of age, this man. That was good defence from Jenny Warwick. Had to change from her forehand defence to play it on the backhand side. Made to twist and turn, but she reacted so well. Eight point advantage now. Probably some of the best badminton I've ever seen them play together. Robertson and Warwick, totally in command of the match. Spring has gone in his racket, I think. Yeah, there he goes. He's gone from a new racket. Back in action. That's just extraordinary. Oh, it's landed in. Oh, my goodness. The sideways drift brought the shuttle back into court. She 
could have played it. Now that was extraordinary early on in that rally when Sukit Praprakamal dashed off court, grabbed a new racket. Partner left uh, hold fort while he was gone. A 10 point advantage in the second game. Over. Eight, and the run comes to an end. Run of seven straight points, it was too. Oh, super play. Yeah, Nathan Robertson applauding his partner. Service over. Mm. Nine eighteen. Made many errors. And the Thailand pair haven't been able to do that enough in the match so far where Sarali was commanding the net position. Service over. 19 10. Numbers are two seeds, just two points from crashing out at the quarter final stage. Lovely play from Robertson. Service over. 11 19. Trademark shot there from Sukit Prakramol, leaping in the air, looking as if he was going to thunder down the smash, but checking the shot at the last moment to play the drop shot. Force the weak reply. Serve is called good. 13-19. Inside tram line, of course, the double service line. Oh. 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 Well, as so often in this match, it's the attacking play that gains the advantage. And now, seven match points. Nathan Robertson and Jenny Warwick. Oh dear, the serve is desperately short. 14 20. wide and the number two seeds have been beaten by the English combination of Nathan Robertson and Jenny Warwick 21-15 21-14 in 33 minutes of play match one by Nathan Robertson Lift had been short and immediately Jenny Warwick having played the smash encroaches in on the nets and the sheer movement and threat of her moving forward to her favoured net position.
and forced op opponents into error. So there is confirmation of the score, 21-15, 21-14. And Robertson and will walk safely through to the semi-final. And we are yet to know who their semi-final opponents will be because Soju Sato and Shizuka Matsuo, the Japanese combination, are busy in the third game against Chen Hongling and Chen Wen Sing of Taipei. So the first semi-finalists decided here in the mixed doubles. And it's the English pair. Yeah, and they're mighty happy with that. Partners on court and partners off court. As they take leave of centre court, just to remind you what we've got coming up next. Of course, it's men's singles and the men's singles quarter final. Two of the future of World Badminton, because it's a former World Junior Champion, Wang Shengming, up against the current World Junior Champion, Victor Axelson. So men's singles coming up in just a moment, but mixed doubles. Well, it produced one or two thrilling moments especially if you're an English fan if you're a Thailand and fan you'll be a little bit disappointed by the performance of the number two seed Sukit Prakamol and Sarali Song Tongkam 